Man, just think about how vast the internet is. Like, how long would it take to check out every site possible? But anyway, just like that, every single day, there's a new live streaming site popping up. And it's not even that hard to just make your own live streaming site these days. But in this edition of The Grind, I wanna talk about some live streaming sites you might not have heard of and maybe you should consider using. And if you happen to find a site that you're really into and you don't see a plugin for it in Xbox Broadcaster, don't worry, we have the custom RTMP plugin. Just grab the RTMP URL from the site and the stream key, set it up. We have a whole guide about optimizing your stream settings that you can check out and plug it all in. You'll be good to go. You can stream to any site with Xbox Broadcaster. You can stream to all the sites we mentioned all at once with Xbox Broadcaster. So like many other social media platforms, China has its own set of live streaming sites and you know the likes of twitch youtube and facebook aren't really relevant there so if you're into game streaming there's doyu tv and there's huya live but i will say for chinese streaming sites many of these are focused on e-commerce like someone showing you a product and trying to sell it to you so there's sites like taobao and red where basically there's a link straight away to go ahead and buy the product and you can go straight into it so if you're planning to tap into this market, you will have to use these sites and find influencers on these sites to grow a presence there. Um, just make sure you have the means and resources to create the accounts and set up channels on these sites. So the interesting part with these sites as well is they're trying to expand their markets, not necessarily tap into the North American or European market, but basically like peripheral markets like South America or Southeast Asia. So there's sites like Huya, which became Nemo TV in a lot of Southeast Asian areas and big mega corp conglomerate. What do they call it in Japan? Zaibatsu uh, Tencent has actually launched Trovo TV or Trovo Live. And these sites, you know, maybe they don't have the largest viewerships yet, but they do have a lot of backing behind them. And if you're someone who is looking to tap into these new markets like Southeast Asia, in Latin America, these are definitely sites to check out and maybe strike some partnership deals or promotional agreements with because there's just so much money being pumped into them. They're going to grow by almost force anyway. So there's also another wave of sites that promise easy routes to partnership and monetization of your content. So there's sites like DLive, which is basically backed by blockchain technology and of course has its own cryptocurrency to monetize your content. And then there are sites like Beagle Live, which specialize in a certain kind of content <laughs> that I really can't show in this video, but I'm sure you can infer what it is. Uh, the one thing though with these sites is, especially if you're going for monetization, is you know be careful about which sites immediately promise you to monetize your content, to give you money, or in exchange for money, they're gonna promise you something else that's as good as money. These sites come and go very quickly and you could think that you've made a lot of money, but never actually see it. So always proceed with caution and read your contracts. Now, if none of these sites satisfy you or fit your needs, or maybe you're just working with a client that needs like a purely white label solution and, or they need privacy and security for their site, then you're probably gonna wanna go with one of the platforms that give you an embedded video player and a CDN network to stream to. So these are sites like The Cast or Wowza or Caster.io. Basically, you go to these sites, you create an account and you pay for bandwidth. So they'll give you like a bandwidth calculator. Like if you stream at 1080p, 30 FPS at this bit rate and this many people are watching for this amount of time, it's gonna cost you this much. So after you calculate that and buy the bandwidth that you need, they'll go have you create an ingest point, which is what you're gonna stream to. And then they'll give you a link to an embeddable player. Usually you can customize this with like geotagging or password protection, but you embed this into your website. Some of them also give you a chat as well. People can go watch it and you can stream whatever you want, maybe pay-per-view content or special events. But if you have a client that needs this, it's another option. And, you know, again, you can use custom RTMP streaming to stream to these sites. Just be warned though, that this is not cheap. But this isn't even the tip of the iceberg for all the kind of streaming sites that you can encounter, like TikToks building up its own streaming platform. And the truth is, is that you just need to figure out where the content is best suited for. It's not always meant to be on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. They're great. They give you so many possibilities, but you know, maybe you're just trying something else or you want to be a pioneer in a new market. 
But I want to know from you, have you streamed to any of the sites that I mentioned here? Are there features from some of the sites that you wish would appear in some of the mainstream sites? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like this video and share it if it was helpful and subscribe for more ways to stay on the grind.